What if you could literally hear the moon answer back? In the quiet aftermath of World War II, a team of U.S. Army Signal Corps engineers attempted the unthinkable. They aimed a powerful modified radar system at the moon and waited for an echo. This bold experiment was called Project Diana. Led by John H. DeWitt at Camp Evans, New Jersey, the team sent a series of carefully timed radio pulses hurtling towards the sky. Then, they listened. For 2.5 agonizing seconds, the time it would take for the signal to travel to the moon and back, there was nothing but static. Had it failed? Had the signal simply vanished into the void? And then, a faint echo, a tiny spike on their instruments. For the first time in history, humans had bounced a message off another celestial body and received a reply. This success was far more than a technical marvel. It shattered the long-held belief that Earth's ionosphere was an impenetrable barrier, a cosmic cage locking us on our own planet. Project Diana's achievement proved it was possible to communicate beyond our world, opening the door for space exploration. The experiment's name honored Diana, the Roman goddess of the moon, a fitting tribute to the project that forever changed our place in the universe. It all began not with a rocket launch, but with a simple echo, an answer from the moon.